Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. Much better than I was last weekend. Alright, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do our ABCs today. And today we are on D. We've done A, B, and C. So today we're on D. Um, now, I am going to be talking about a difficult subject for many. Let's put that out of the way for right now. And... As always, we're going to start with our bad words. I guess if you want to call them that, the bad words. Um, we're going to talk about the Big Bad Depression. And we're going to talk about how we end up in that depression. Where'd my... There it is. I was looking for my little papers here. And they disappeared. All right, so we're just, you know, um, I know some people don't like to talk about this. And, um, you know, if, if you don't want to talk about this, that's fine. Um, I want to talk about it because it is part of my life. Uh, it's something that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, I was diagnosed many, many years ago, um, uh, over 20 years ago now. And, you know, it's something I have to live with. So if I can, uh, you know, shed a light on a little bit of something about it, or if I can, um, you know, help someone else understand it, that's all good. All right. So now what, what gets you into the depression? All right. The first thing is we, my depression, I have a chemical imbalance in my brain. Okay. Simple as that. I have a chemical imbalance where I don't, my brain doesn't produce enough of, and I can't remember the name of the, 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 the stuff. <laughs> Boy, my brain's here today. That's called fibro fog. Um, anyways, um, so for me, what happens is my brain does not produce enough of whichever enzyme it is that it needs to stay out of the depression, okay? So, um, you know, people will say, well, you don't have anything to be depressed about. That's not the point. It's not that I'm sad because, you know, um, the sun's not shining today. It's not that I'm sad because, you know, I've lost a member of my family or one of my fur babies or any of that. That's not what a lot of depression is. I'm not saying that doesn't cause depression because, yes, it can. Um, what I'm saying is that's not always what causes depression so you know if, if somebody says to you yeah I've been diagnosed with depression you know you can't just buck it up and get over with it it does not work that way okay so now in the sense of the chronic pain I really like how this is I like the gray in there um, in the sense of the chronic pain what what causes depression oh my gosh the list is as long as you want to make it because it can be anything from, you know, waking up in the morning in so much extreme pain and then you didn't sleep last night and it just really gets to you mentally. That could cause depression, absolutely. Let me dry this up. Bear with me. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna dry this up real quick. Um, it could be the loss of your mobility. It could be the loss of a friend. It could be the loss of a, of a job. It could be, you know, um, your spouse not understanding. There's so many different things that can put you in the throes of depression. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. Okay, that is dry. So, you know, when someone says to you, you know, yeah, I've got depression. And especially if they're living with chronic pain. It happens. It's it, it happens, and it's not gonna stop. Um, what I'm gonna do? I gotta grab a couple supplies, uh, and then we're gonna do our depression page. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, I just did a little <laughs> research on Siri. I asked Siri a question, and she answered me. So I'll give you what she told me, or uh, what this article is saying. Um, this is from healthharvard.edu, and it was published in 2009, updated in 2017. 
And we were talking about depression and, you know, the chemical imbalance in the brain. Well, according to the Harvard research, um, it's not just a chemical imbalance in the brain. I guess it's a lot more complex than that. Um, research suggests that depression doesn't spring from simply having too much or too little certain brain chemicals. There's many possibilities, including faulty mood regulation by the brain, genetic vulnerability, stressful life events, like I talked about with the chronic pain, um, medications and medical problems. And it's believed that several of these forces interact to bring on depression. And, and that makes sense. I mean, we're talking about chronic pain. And yeah, when you have chronic pain, you know, it does get you down. Now, um, that's not the only D word um, with chronic pain. Chron Spit it out, Cindy. <laughs> chronic pain. Um, another one is uh, debilitating. Okay, yeah. Our chronic pain can be very debilitating. I'm just, I'm taking some white. This is some um, Ranger Pigment Ink Pad Glacier White. And I just wanted to put a little bit of something in the background here so that it wasn't all just it. So I'm going to play with this for a second and just kind of, you know, put a little more down there. So um, debilitating. Yeah, chronic pain. Let me tell you, it, it kicks your butt right off your rocker. Um, it does not, it doesn't play nice, whether it's with the mind or the body. Chronic pain is a very difficult thing to experience. Um, you know, I try to say, um, in some ways to me, it's been a blessing in disguise. I say that very lightly because actually, honestly, I'd rather still be working and you know, living a normal life, but that's not what's going to happen. So anyways, um, so sometimes I think, you know, um, the chronic pain, like I said, to me, it's a blessing in disguise. I get to try to help other people understand what is happening, how it's happening and, um, you know, what to do about it. Now I just, this ribbon, um, was actually sent to me by a friend and I really like it. I think it's pretty. So even though we are talking about the bad words or the um, chronic pain words, I still want to put a little bit of this on there to make it a little bit shiny. So I'm going to use that. So anyways, um, debilitating. Absolutely. Dull. Um, there, I have such a... At times it's dull. At other times it's really, really sharp. Um, pain going down my leg that it's it, sometimes it really just it gets so crazy it drives me insane and you know that's that's again another one of our D words what else is there um, those were the three that I thought of right up thought of right off the top of my head right at the top of my head but I'm sure there's many, many, many more words that will describe that type of pain. Um, but my biggest one, like I said, is depression. I know there's a lot of people that go through the chronic pain. Um, All right, guys. So um, I just did a little <laughs> research on Siri. I asked Siri a question and she answered me. So I'll give you what she told me or uh, what this article is saying. Um, this is from healthharvard.edu, and it was published in 2009, updated in 2017. And we were talking about depression and, you know, the chemical imbalance in the brain. Well, according to the Harvard research, um, it's not just a chemical imbalance in the brain. I guess it's a lot more complex than that. Um, research suggests that depression doesn't spring from simply having too much or too little certain brain chemicals. There's many possibilities, including faulty mood regulation by the brain, genetic vulnerability, stressful life events, like I talked about with the chronic pain, um, medications and medical problems. And it's believed that several of these forces interact to bring on depression. And, and that makes sense. I mean, we're talking about chronic pain. And yeah, when you have chronic pain, you know, it does get you down. Now, um, that's not the only D word um, with chronic pain. Chron Spit it out, Cindy. <laughs> chronic pain. Um, another one is uh, debilitating. 
Okay, yeah, our chronic pain can be very debilitating. I'm just, I'm taking some white. This is some um, Ranger Pigment Ink Pad Glacier White. And I just wanted to put a little bit of something in the background here so that it wasn't all just it. So I'm going to play with this for a second and just kind of, you know, put a little more down there. So um, debilitating. Yeah, chronic pain. Let me tell you, it, it kicks your butt right off your rocker. Um, it does not, it doesn't play nice, whether it's with the mind or the body. Chronic pain is a very difficult thing to experience. Um, you know, all right, so I got a couple punches out here. I have this square and then I got the elephant. And it was funny because I was going through the, the punches saying, hmm, which ones do I want? And I saw that elephant. And isn't depression the proverbial elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about? Yeah, it is. All right, so what have we got? We've got depression. We've got debilitating, dull, dizzy. Um, think, what other words can we put on here? I think I'm just going to use those four. But I'm going to get us some white elephants. And we are going to cut out some elephants. There's one. I wonder why people don't like to talk about depression. I wonder why that is. People will talk about other things like how crazy, you know, life is in the world, that kind of stuff, but nobody wants to talk about depression. So, hmm, I'd like to know why. If you have that answer, please let me know. Okay, so we have our elephants, we have our places for our words. So let's get our words done. Um, depression. E-S-S-R-I-O-N. We're going to print that one. This is a little Dymo maker um, that my husband actually had when he had his uh, um, firearms business. And I swiped it from it from him. Uh oh, that's spelled wrong, isn't it? Let's try that again. D E P R E S S I O N. Depression. There we go. Print that one instead. This one will throw in the trash. So um, you can get these at Walmart. Uh, the machine itself is like 20 bucks. And the tape is like seven. Um, so I usually try to get it at Hobby Lobby when I don't find anything else I want. Um, and I get it at Hobby Lobby with a coupon. Dizzy. Print that one. And the reason I'm doing these separate is because I'm lazy and don't want to cut them apart. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> um, let's see. Dull. Print that one. And then we have debilitating. This is going to be a challenge. Uh, D E H A B I L I T A T I N G. Debilitating. Print. So, yeah, why is it that nobody wants to talk about depression? If you've watched my videos before, um, I've actually described my depression to you. It feels like, to me, it feels like I am um, going into a pit. It feels like somebody is above me and just pushing down, 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 down. And, uh, I am going to cut this right in half because I want it on one block. So yeah, my depression is um, black, very, very black. Um, I tend to shut down, meaning um, I don't want to do, go, see, or speak to anyone. 
I will, um, a lot of times I will stay in bed and cry. Um, I feel completely empty. Let me move this over. I feel empty. I feel, um, I have not good thoughts. Debilitating. And then we'll put the little doot right here. Close enough. All right. Um, what else? Um, yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Um, it's very difficult because people around me will try to make me smile. And then they feel like a failure because they don't make me smile because there is no smile in me at that time. Um, so, you know, the depression doesn't affect only you. It affects everybody around you. And they worry. They really, really worry. And, you know, even though I know what it is, I know it's depression. I know um, it will get better. It may not be better tonight. It may not be better tomorrow. But it will get better because... I have um, what they call manic depression, which um, now is known as bipolar. Uh, so it's cyclical. Um, I will go from completely in the hole, meaning the depressed. I'm just going to put this just like this. Um, I will go completely from being a completely depressed, not smiling, not caring, um, shut everybody out and down person to happy-go-lucky and life is good and let's get moving and yada 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 um, in a matter of hours and it's it's my disease it's it's what it is I understand it I accept it I don't have any other choice than to accept it and you know what it's all okay it will be okay all right, of course, you know, I can't just put these on here just white. So we have to have something on them. Let's use our Sharpie. Something stuck to me. A little piece of tape. There we go. All right, let's use our Sharpie. And I just want to do something to it. So, yeah, um... You know, so if you see somebody that goes through those stages of that type of, um, you know, mood swings or whatever you want to call it, don't be surprised. It happens. And unfortunately, we don't have control over it. Um, I am on medications that controls it quite a bit. But it still happens, and there is nothing I can do about it. So, you know, just think about that the next time you hear somebody really, really, really down in the dumps or, um, you know, having really hard days. It's, it's a very good possibility. It's not something they can control. So um, just think about that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we are going to attach these to... This little band of, of ribbon I have here. How am I going to do that? I'm going to do that with tacky glue. All right. And first one we're going to put on is Dizzy. We're going to put Dizzy on here. Dizzy. And then we're going to put debil Debilitating. We're going to put depression. Oh, we're going to put dull. And then we're going to put depression. And then I'm going to put the little white elephant. But first, before I put him on there, oh, I'm going to show up tacky glue. Before I put him in there, I'm going to give him a little outline. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you guys are doing these tags along with me. Um, that's, you know, the whole idea behind it is for you to do your own tags and to, um, you know, use words that work for you. They don't have to be the same words as mine. Um, use what's good for you. You know, if you don't have depression, but you have, um, I don't know, diabetes, use the word diabetes. All right, now I gotta put something on here to make these sit. <laughs> it was the closest thing I could find. <laughs> Get some stuff on my phone. All right, I wanna let these dry a little bit. Then we're gonna come in with, oh, we got another elephant. Let's put these other elephants on here somewhere. No, let's not. Okay, um, I wanna get these to dry enough so that they'll stay where they are. Uh, actually, while they're doing that, let me, it's still icky. Let me take my little white generic pasta here. Get some paint coming out of it. This one's almost did, did. Every now and then I can get a little bit of paint out of it. There we go. Got some paint. And let's just um, stay on there, you. Just throw some dots. Gotta love dots, right? Let me get some bigger dots. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this up and then we're gonna see what we can do about all these words. All right, so I'll be back with you in just a minute. Hey guys, <laughs> look what happens to the label when you're not paying attention and you leave your heat gun there <laughs> too long. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh well. <laughs> all right, so. It's not hot. It's not going to catch on fire. It's all good. <laughs> Oops. All right. So let's turn this bad boy over and let's see what we can do about this. Um, I just want to show you that real quick. Let me grab, I want to get some different color paints. Let's get rid of this gray. Uh, let's get rid of this black. Let's grab some yellow and some orange. How about that? Um, these are deco art. I got these at Michael's. All right, so what are we going to do about all of this? Negativity, not negativity, this depression and the pain and the, all of that. Where'd my sponge go? There it is. Okay. What are we going to do about all this? Well, we're going to take care of it. So, what we've got now is, um, let me move my book here. What do we need to do when we have all of this, these issues? Um, we need to find devices that are going to help us, right? Whether it be a medication or whatever the case may be. We need to find something to help us. So, what I'm going to share with you in just a minute is something that my husband had done for me. So let me, I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow on there. I put too much orange, not more yellow. I'm gonna kind of make it smooth because, all right. All right, let me dry this up and then I'm gonna share with you what I've got here. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this nice and dry. Now, this is a little album that I have that I keep certain stencils in. And let me show you these. Here's the first one. It says pain, throb, burn, tired, chronic, sad, numb, 
ache and ouch. How cool is that? Look at this one. Here's another one. We've got canes because I use my cane when I need to. We have ice. We have prescriptions, which is our meds. We have a tissue box because, yeah, Cindy cries. Oops, the other side doesn't matter. Either way, um, Cindy cries when she gets depressed. Here's some pills. And we have some band-aids. Look at that. Look at that. So anyways, um, what we're going to do is I just put some of this magenta on here. Is that what it is? Uh, quinacridone violet on here. And I'm going to use these um, stencils to put down um, what we're going to do to cope with these issues. Okay? You know, sometimes you just have to have a good cry. And that is especially true when you're dealing with chronic pain. You can, your body can take just so much, right? I know mine can. Mine can only take so much, and then I've got to let loose. So let me dry that, because I'm going to try to kind of overlap some of these. So there's my box of tissues when I cry. Um, let's take some canes and da, 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 da. let's do it like this. Let me bring it out a little bit so I can, there we go. I have a little more room to play here. All right, so I'm going to take my cane and we're going to put it right here. Okay, because this is another thing I need to do. You know, because when I have debilitating pain, I need to use my cane if I have to go somewhere. Yes. Am I stubborn and not want to use it? Absolutely. Oops, that one I put too much paint on. But, you know, sometimes you just have to do it, right? So we'll dry that one up. What's the next thing we're going to do? And if you notice, these are going to be all, this is what I call my devices. Um, this is what I have to do when I'm in that chronic pain <sighs> fog and, and, and just, it's so excruciating. These are my devices. This is what I have to do to fix, or not even to fix, to accept, to, what's the word I want to look for? Um, to deal with. All right, this is what I have to do. So I'm going to put a couple, I'm going to use the little one. I'm going to put some meds right there because I use my meds, right? We're supposed to. When it gets really bad, I have to use my painkillers. I have to use my muscle relaxers. All right, so let's put a couple more. Oh, I'm going to dry it because I don't want to smudge these. So I'm just drying them up real quick. Let's put some more meds here, because sometimes, you know, depending on what it is, you have to take, um, you know, more than one type of medication. Hmm. Just want to make sure I got it in those holes. Yep. Okay. All right, and then... The next one I'm going to use, this one is a big one for me, and that is ice. My body, um, my back, my, um, my leg, all of it responds really well to ice. Um, my body does not respond to heat. It makes it hurt more. Um, and this is something, you know, if you're new to the chronic pain journey, it's something you may have to, um, you know, test and try. You know, maybe if it's this type of a pain, it takes ice. Maybe if it's that type of a pain, it takes heat. It really depends on your own body. Everybody's different. So here's my ice cubes melting. And let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, these are the actual bad words, right? But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put chronic on here. And I'm going to kind of, let's see, how can I do it? 
Can I put it up along the ice? Yes. And this I'm going to do in white. So let me grab... Where is my white? Let's use gesso. Why not? This gesso is not great. It's, um... I don't know. It's getting like... See, it's getting like clumpy. That's all right. It'll work for now. Let me grab a clean... Ew. don't like that sponge, but we'll use this side. And let's put chromic on here. And if it does, if this gesso doesn't completely white it out, we'll just do it in white pen. All right, and I'm going to dry that up real quick. All right, so now what are you guys going to do? What um, do you have? You know, another option is music. A lot of times I'll turn on my stereo when I'm sitting here in my art space. And um, as a matter of fact, right now it's on pause. I will sit here and I will just, you know, listen to whether it's relaxing music or country music or, um, you know, it depends on the mood. If I need something upbeat, I will use, you know, I'll normally put my country music on. If I just need to chill out and relax, I will put on, you know, easy listening or a jazz, a light jazz or, um, you know, something of that nature. Sometimes I, I, I listen to Pandora and I listen to this um, station called uh, Global Chill. It's actually kind of cool. Um, maybe, you know, you like to lay in bed and watch YouTube videos. That works, too. All right. I want to take a small brush. Now I'm playing. <laughs> and I just, whoops, that's too much. I just want to put a little bit of color, just a touch, in some of these. Nothing crazy. Just a... Give them a little bit of oomph, oomph, oomph. Just a little bit of indifference here in color, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, write in this little top part. And it's just going to be a positive, um, something that I, you know, look at as a positive. Um, let's take my little pen. Hopefully it'll work the whole way around. And we're just going to give this a white border. Come on. White paint pen. Alright. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's um, The D. Uh, as you can tell, I am not in my depression right now. I was. Um, oh, and this is something I was going to tell you. Um, actually, last week, uh, last weekend, I had a very, very difficult weekend. I was in an extreme amount of pain. I actually um, moved the wrong way and really jerked my back. And it was just extreme, extreme pain. And that put me into a hole. It put me into my depression. So, on Monday, um, I had said something to a friend of mine, you know, that I just, I wasn't doing well, and, you know, she probably wouldn't hear from me. She would not let up, and she got me on Zoom, and let me tell you, between her and three other friends of mine, had it not been for them on Monday, it would have been such a difficult day, and they... I have to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because they helped me in so many ways. All right. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to put some string on this or some fiber or something. So let me grab that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I found this little piece of sorry ribbon. I have a couple different colors here, the yellow and the orange, and I thought that was perfect. So let me just tighten them up without ripping my tag which I did yay okay let me move this out of the way I'm gonna write really quick 
and then I will be right back. All right, guys, so here it is. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put a D on here. Uh-oh, we need to do that, don't we? Let me grab, take me a second, my letters. Hmm. Let's see, which ones can we use today? Um, Let's see what's in here. Is there a D in here? It's got to be. It's got to be. Okay, here's a D, but it's pink. All right, I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me dig through this stuff. Unless you want to. You want to? All right, hang out with me. Um, D, there's a D. I don't like that blue. Well, I guess it'd work, but... I kind of wanted an orange or a yellow one, but I don't know if I'm going to get lucky enough. So, huh. the blue one again. All right, so we're going to go with a blue D. See, just like that. This doesn't have stick around it, but you know what? I also want to take part of this off because I don't like them this thick. I like them thinner. Hold still, you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off a lot of this cardboard backing and just keep the front part of it. There we go. And what it does too is it doesn't make um, my book quite so thick. So let's put our D on here. Just using some tacky glue. And we're going to put it, let's put it over here. Yeah, let's put it over here. It's covering up a little bit of the meds, but that's okay. We know they're there, right? Okay. There we are. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Here's the back side that I almost burn up, but that's okay. It's all good. And then here's the front side. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I can't wait to see your tags. Please, please, please definitely um, share them on my Facebook page, which is Art Play Through Chronic Pain. That's where these videos will be um, referenced. So definitely share them with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. I'd love to see what you do and, and see if you're following along. That'd be awesome. All right. As always, guys, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.